Okay, now I'm going to use just a smaller regular grocery bag because it'll be easier to show you how to do plarn from a tube with this. So what you should do is you just flatten your grocery bag out, fold in the pleats, and then fold it in half. I'm just doing a lot of folds because this is a lot thinner and so you can cut through more layers so you'll be less cutting involved. So I'm cutting it like this. Just like so. And then you cut off the bottom seam. I'm parting the lawnmower in the background. You know, can't begrudge my neighbors mowing, right? Uh, and you cut the handles. And this little tab between the handles, cut that off too. So you cut just a little below the handles. Now these handles can be used um, to make a rug what you do is you can either get latch hook canvas or you can crochet a um, fillet crochet base and then use a latch hook and add these to make a funky little rug. I may do a tutorial later on that but right now I'm just going to throw these in another plastic bag and recycle them when I take my grocery bags to be recycled. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so now what we do, what we should have is a tube, a tube of plastic, okay? So, sorry about the crinkly sound, that's what plastic makes. <laughs> Smooth it out, get all the pleats out of it. This one's really wrinkled, it was in a little ball. So if you don't want to have all these wrinkles, you have to do all the smoothing later is when you put your groceries away then you just fold it fold the bags instead of roll them in a ball so but i get lazy so anyway um now what you're going to do is fold it just like we did the other bag but and you want to still and you want to leave a little bit at the top here and then you fold it again this one here, because it's thin, you can do several layers. But if it's thicker, do less layers because it'll slide around, okay? All right. Now, you're going to cut just like we did the flat panel. We're not going to cut through this layer here we left up here. So, and these... I'm going to cut a little bit wider than my last bag because it's thinner plarn and it'll tear a little easier so you want a little bit more width to fight tearing it. So cut all the way across and then I will wing. I've got this all cut. I'm going to cut this end off because like the other one it comes out crooked and you can end up with thin spots. So, all right. So this one we're going to do differently than the other video because this is all one piece. So what you're going to do is unfold it at least part way, these pieces. Okay. And again, you're going to have what looks like a grass skirt. But now, separate it this way. And this is, can be a little fiddly, but just pull it apart this way. I just kind of go down like this. Okay. And if you have a really big piece, it's going to be harder to do. But anyway. I'm going to keep, keep your two ends so you don't lose those. All right. And what I do is I put my arm underneath them like this so that I don't end up cutting strands that I don't want to cut. So get that all separated. And the diagram will give you a simpler idea of what I'm doing here. Um, I'll do picture in picture here. All right. Now if you look at the diagram it shows you where to make your cut. And that's what I'm going to do here. Cut just like that. That piece you just cut, that is going to be your starting end. Okay. And 
to cut diagonally across to the next slot all the way across And like I said, look at the diagram. It'll show you a little bit more better what I'm doing here because it's really hard to show. Um, I'm down to my last cut. Whoop. There we go. That's my other end. So I got two ends right here. And then you take the end of the one you finished and you just, I just tie a square knot. I leave longer tails so I can work them in as I crochet them. Um, well, two, three inches, and wind that on with the rest. So that is how you make a continuous piece of twine. I'm going to do one more method to show you, and it's the most fiddly, the least efficient method to do it, but it really comes out cool, and and uh, you can get the kids to help, you know. So. I'm going to come back and show you how to do that one.